This is Trish Kelly, owner of Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I'm here with Darcy's beautiful litter, Darcy in Dublin. Um, these puppies were born on August 10th. Um, you can hear them squawking away right now. They've definitely found their voices and their eyes are open. They will be three weeks in just a couple of days. They're doing super. And um, we've got the, let's see here. Um, hang on. The Remy is right on my side here nursing on Mommy, so I'll show Remy in a minute. Um, you can hear Grace, Rita Grace, the cream one right here, talking away. So they're just waking up, so we'll get a, lots of voices going here. <laughs> the puppies are so cute. So you can see how they've just grown a little bit. They're going to the paper to potty and poop, which is awesome. And that's the beginning part that we do. See, she's going to go potty. Um, this is Lila. Lila right there with the pink collar. We switched it from red to pink a week ago. And uh, we'll just see if she actually goes potty. Or maybe not. But they are going on the paper, which is really nice. They don't like to go to the bathroom where they sleep. So when they wake up, they usually stroll over and find the paper. So I'm just going to go through these beautiful puppies with each one and show you who is who. Here comes Darcy to check them all out and lay down so they can nurse. So we'll get some real action shots here. Um, this one here is uh, the puppy I'm holding back. That's Micah. And uh, let's see. Again, uh, well, Rufus is the blue collared one who just went up by Mama. And here's Remy. Put Remy in the mix. Okay, I'm going to move these guys over here. Oh, Frida, come here. This is Grace. Frida Grace. So, uh, as you can see, oh, I don't know if Darcy doesn't feel like nursing right now. We'll find out what she's up to. But the puppies can certainly see her now, so it's exciting for them to just be able to walk over and nosh with her. And uh, Mama's just cleaning up somebody. That's just what she does. She still um, licks their back end to stimulate the poop and the pee. And that's all part of nature. Just going to kind of let you guys watch them strolling around and playing here. And of course, they're honing in on Mama whenever she sits still. Lila's the pink one there. She's trying to get underneath her, and Mama's deciding to clean her up now. There's Gracie, or Grace. Free to Grace. And uh, Remy. I'm going to hold each one up for you to see a little bit better there. There's our Frida Grace. Oh, is she adorable. Oh, my God. She will melt your heart. She's just adorable, and she's going to gnash on my finger. Just so sweet. She's got a couple of white, real white paws, and then her body is cream. Definitely a mama, mama re duplicate there. Lila here. Oh, she's chomping on me too. There's Lila. I'm just gonna lift up some of them. Some of you guys asked if they had any spots on them, so I'm gonna just look here. I don't see any spots on Lila, and she's a pretty solid uh, red. You know, some people call them a light brown, but uh, you know, I go with the red pretty much. And uh, so there's Lila. Now she's moving and shaking, trying to. I'm actually sitting in their pool, so that's why I'm. You see parts of me in it. <laughs> uh, oh, here's that Frida. Wait. Uh, no, this is Remy. Remy with the white spot on his head, and I'm just gonna see once lifting him up if he's he's pretty much just got the white spot and a little bit on a little bit on the paws there, and on the back paw for sure. And what you doing, Darcy? You gonna sit down for them? You gonna let them nurse? Can you lay down? Lay down, Darcy. Lay down. She's a good girl. 
And let's see, who else do we got? Oops, somebody went on the paper right by me here. There's a little piece spot, so we know they're doing it over here too. Um, let's see. Where's Rufus? Right here. I didn't get much of Rufus, and now he's eating, so I'll let him finish eating before I pull him off and show you his face. Come here, you. You big squawker. Let me see your, let me see your body underneath here. Come here. Just a minute. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I don't think there's any other spots on uh, Lila. And here's... Here's a cute little chunk that I'm holding back. Oh, he's so cute, Micah. And he's got a little bit of white on his, whoops, on his chest. I'm gonna pull one of these big guys off right here. I'll pull this guy off and show you him for a minute and put Micah on. Come here, Micah, there, right here. Right there, okay. And then this again is Rufus, which I didn't get to hone on, hone in on too much. He's like, wait a minute, where's mommy? There's Rufus looking for a, a teat on my hand, and I'm just gonna lift Rufus up too. I don't see any white on Rufus, so Rufus again is a nice solid red, unless you like. A lot of people love the white marks and uh, actually breed for that. He's just chomping away on my finger here. I don't feel any teeth yet, so we're good with the teeth. Um, we're going on three weeks after, uh, between three and four weeks, I will be microchipping the puppies. I'm going to turn him around because I'm sure he's looking for something there. Can you lay down, Darcy? Can you lay down? Huh? Can you lay down a little? He's going to upset the apple cart. Let them, here, that's my girl. Oh, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. So I'll just hone in on them nursing here, which is a fun thing to watch. And they just push and shove till everybody gets on a teat. You can hardly see little, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Grace under here, Frida Grace. She's right here nursing. It's okay. You're okay, Darcy. Lay down here. Can you lay down so they can all nurse? No? Darcy's a little excited to see me today. Uh, the puppies are at the trainer's home now. So they are, like I sh tried to show you, beginning house training on the paper, which we then move to um, getting them outside at about five weeks of age, five to six weeks. We start getting them outside a lot. Uh, so they get used to going on the grass. Um, let's see, they're also... Um, Doing great with the life's abundance. Uh, uh, they're going to start on the life's abundance mush in the next couple days. So families that haven't ordered their life's abundance um, dog food and training treats, I would suggest you get those at the very least. They have all kinds of other good products, uh, really good chews that are just made for puppies, and um, the whole life's abundance products line is formulated around puppies, delicate tummies. So it's a real good thing for starting off your puppy, if not continuing. They love their products. So let's see here. What else we got? I can see that um, Rufus is a little frustrated because he can't get a teat, but we'll see if he can figure that out. I'm pretty sure he doesn't look like he's malnutritioned by any means. So I'm sure they can get all on a teat at some point. They are definitely going to be some very beautiful, stocky puppies. Look at the legs on Rufus here, <laughs> and nice size feet. I always like to point this out when, um, if I see him doing this here, when the tails go into like a straight line almost, or a slight little curl um, when they're nursing, that means they're, they've sucked so hard on the teeth that it's a natural flow of milk into their mouth. So for some reason, see like this um, Remy down here is doing it with the tail a little. So they're getting a nice stream of milk into their mouths right now. Darcy's doing great, as she has been all along. I'm going to pull one of these off that's been on a while and give this sweetheart a, a teat, which would be this big girl down here. Ugh. So everybody can shift over one. Here, let's see if she, she finds one now. <laughs> it's like a, a battlefield right here.
That's Lila that's uh, scrambling back to try and get her spot, but let's see if he's... And, and you know, if they don't get on a teat right now that's producing good milk, uh, they're definitely going to get one the next time around. Come here, you. Right here. Right here. There we go. Okay, now he's happy. So everybody seems to be on a teat and uh, just doing great. You can see uh, there's our little mica just gnashing away. And here's what I mean about the tails. See the how the tails kind of stick out? and That means the milk's just flowing and they're just in heaven right now. <laughs> That's uh, Frida Grace back there, scrambling to hang on to her position. But like I say, if they don't get enough milk this this time, then uh, the next time a few of them are sleeping, they'll get on a teat. Oh, she says, "I'm not happy." That's Frida Grace squawking. You got bumped off, huh? But you were on for quite a while, so let's let the other ones go. Here. Come here, Frida. Come on. Can you come in here? It's okay. She's a good girl. What happens is they suck on a teat until it's basically emptied, and then they move to another one. And sometimes that one's emptied because somebody's just gotten off of it, so... They just jostle, jostle for position is what they're doing. That's why at about three and a half weeks or so, we introduce kibble in a mush form, the Life's Abundance kibble. And um, along with nursing, they get you know plenty of food. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little longer than I usually do them, but I think it, it really showed a lot with the puppies. Everybody's doing fantastic. Darcy's doing a great job still with mom, being a great mama, and um, she's just a sweetheart. Everybody loves Darcy. So, hope you enjoyed that. Have a great week, and I'll see you in a week. Thanks.